I thought it might be worth it to take a little aside and remember about unit conversions. Okay, the big story here is about, you know, air, what's in air, and pollution, and where it comes from. But in order to truly have a good conversation, you all have to remember how to do some basic unit conversions. Sometimes it's called dimensional analysis, and this is going to come up again and again throughout the year. So it's worth just having a spot um, in the notes where we have had a good review. Um, so it's a dimensional analysis. They're just conversion problems. And basically, a conversion factor is an equality. Uh, for example, 1 kilogram equals 1,000 grams. All right, that's an equality. The left-hand side equals the right-hand side. 1 kilogram is the same as 1,000 grams, so it's an equality. Now, to, make a, to do unit conversions, a lot of times what we'll want to do is um, make a unit, what we call a unit factor. And because this is an equality, you can divide the left-hand side by the right-hand side, or vice versa, and your quotient is going to equal 1. So in this case, for example, um, uh, what, what we have done to get this relationship is divide both sides of this equality by 1 kilogram. Okay? If you divide both sides of that equality by 1 kilogram, the, this um, <clears throat> 1 kilogram divided by 1 kilogram is the same as 1. So 1,000 divided by 1 kilogram equals 1. So this is called a unit factor because you can multiply this um, by, say, a unit that's in units of kilograms. The kilogram unit would cancel and you would be left with, with the gram unit. You can also um, create a unit factor the other way. Uh, it's the same thing. 1 kilogram divided by 1,000 grams is also equal to 1. It doesn't matter which side you divide by which side. All right, so we'll be coming back to that quite a bit um, <coughs> throughout the semester. Um, but right now, what's in front of our face here is this units of um, PPH, PPB, and PPM. So we're going to want to um, you know, convert using from PPH to PPB and PPM and whatnot, whatever's necessary to make sense. Or if you're trying to compare some data that you have with some, um, for example, data that's been published by the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, and the measurement you have is in parts per million, but the the um, <clears throat> biological effects uh, unit is um, in parts per billion, you may have to be able to convert. So it's a handy skill to have. So um, you need to have some, I guess the question would be, well, for example, what we, the example I just showed you, one kilogram equals 1,000 grams, that, that's just a, the metric unit for mass, and a kilo was defined as 1,000. And so that's how we knew that one um, 1,000 grams equals 1 kilogram because the kilo is 1,000. So what about this business with PPH, PPB, and PPM? Um, well, we can um, define these numbers in a similar way. For example, um, let's see, one, 1 part per 100 equals um, 10,000 parts per million. Okay. Now, w in the metric system, you have to memorize that you know uh, a kilo is equal to a thousand or ten to the third. You just have to memorize it. But in this case, we already know you know what a hundred is. It's one hundred, or it's it's one zero zero. We already know what a million is. It's one zero 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 zero. So we we know the definitions of what those words mean. So um, we don't have to memorize this equality. Um, like we would in, in the case of the um, metric system. Instead, what you can, you can understand is the concept one, one part per 100 is the same as one per 100. And one part per million is the same as one over a million. So in order for one part per 100 to be equal to one part per million, we have to have, excuse me, to, um, in order for one part per 100 to be equal to a PPM, we have to have 10,000 parts per million, okay? Because um, uh, 1 over 100 is like 1 over 10 to the 2. This is 10 to the 5 over 10 to the um, 7, and that was the same as 1 over 10 to the 2, okay? So it's just base 10 math, basically. So one part per the 100 is the same as 10,000 um, parts per million. So
So that's where we come up with this equality. Okay, and once you have that equality, you can write unit factors from that equality. Um, one part per 100 over 10,000 parts per million is the same as one because it's an equality. So you can do conversions um, in a very analogous way that you do with the metric system, um, going from PPH, PPB, PPP, uh, PPM. Okay, so I just um, told you what one part per 100 is the same as 10,000 parts per million. Um, how one part per 100 is equal to, what do you think, parts per billion? Okay, a billion is a thousand times more than a million, so um, what do you think? It's just going to be 10 million parts per billion. One part per 100 is the same as 10 billion parts per 100. So you could make a similar type of a conversion or unit factor um, for parts per 100 to parts per billion. What about the relationship between parts um, per million and parts per billion? Well, one part per million is the same as 1,000 parts per billion, okay? And you can do the math like I did up here to see that the ratios are the same, all right? Speaking of ratios, using ratios is another way to convert these types of um, concentration units, parts per hundred, parts per million, and parts per billion. I'm going to show you both ways. I'm going to show you how to convert using dimensional analysis and show you how to convert using ratios.